tedious, boring, monotonous. Now, I'm not talking about my video forecast. I'm talking about trolling. I hear it all the time. Folks get bored of trolling, and I do as well. But it is a highly effective way of putting big fish in the box. And that has been the story in the last couple of weeks. I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey, Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine, and trolling has been effective. Case in point, take a look at this one. The biggest one I've heard this year, at least this season, trophy stripers like this one, Joe Seaman Jr., 14 years old. He and his father, Joe Sr., were two and a half miles off Cape May County, trolling a stretch plug on Halloween and hooked up with this monster that they weighed in at Jim's Bait and Tackle in Cape May, 55 and a half inches. Now, Joe Sr. tells me they left Cape May, they were trolling north, about two and a half miles out, it was on the way back with a stretch plug on braid that this big fish took. I mentioned two and a half miles because I don't want you to forget, three miles is the federal line. Do not fish for stripers outside three miles. It's a federal act, if you're busted, it's a huge, huge fine. But it seems from Manasquan down to Cape May, those big fish now are swimming in that deeper water right along the fence. I know along Island Beach, uh, down along Long Beach Island, 55 to 60 feet of water has been where they've been feeding. I talked to Rick Donofrio last week, who does a lot of trolling outside of Shark River. He's been in about 40 feet of water up there. Of course, they've got the Shrewsbury Rocks there as well. But the trolling has been quite effective, whether it's the stretches or the mojos or the spoons. But those trophy stripers are out there and they're in South Jersey now as well. So if you've been waiting for the reports, they're here. Captain Glenn weighed three good fish in at 24-7 in Marmora just the other day, 27 to 37 pounds. They were boated, so yes, those fish are there. Dan Daly, he brought a 43 pound, 49 and a half inch fish over to Riptide Bait and Tackle. This one was caught just north of Brigantine on one of those mojo rigs. It's funny to watch this. I'm talking to Ricky, I mentioned, just last week. He says a lot of these bass seem to be turning on to squid as well. Well, that's where it seems to matter that maybe the mojos are working. It seems we got the majas, the bunker spoons coming from the north, and you got the maja, uh, the mojos, the uh, the big bucktails with a swim shad right down the middle. They're coming from the south. They're mixing. They're they're available all over the place. I saw Joe Julian's is selling the mojos as well as the majas. Fin Addicts, they have a great selection of this of this trolling tackle. All the tackle shops do, and there's a good reason for it. Whether it's the stretches or the Rapala X wraps, the mojos or the Majas or any of those bunker spoons, they are highly effective and work. Trolling does work. If you're on a hot school, a live bunker, and you're dropping down and those bass are just blowing up, don't just think you got to troll. And of course, we're getting into that jig and bite as well. So if you're marking fish down, it's a good time to drop a jig down as well. Ed K plugged up a good fish earlier this week, a 47 pound, five ounce bass early Monday morning, gray light throwing a yellow bomber, going old school with it. Um, Ed brought this big fish into Fisherman's Headquarters earlier this week, and he has instantly skyrocketed himself to the top of the LBI Surf Fishing Classic leaderboard. Congratulations, Ed. Um, I know um, a lot of folks are getting into the striper action in the surf. Nick Honicheski, our Beach Talk reporter, of course, he's in Northern Ocean County, has been doing real well. Um, in the early morning, right before dawn, all the way through dawn, throwing some poppers and some swimming plugs. And we're getting more reports, too, in the Fisherman Magazine this week of a sand eel bite starting to materialize. Talking with some friends up on the south shore of Long Island, that bite is starting up there. And I know folks throwing the tsunami sand eels and the avas and uh, any of those uh, any of those slim waves, uh, the deadly dicks, those metals, uh, we're starting to get that sand eel bite right on time. Hopefully it continues through November. I would love to see a season like we had in 2011. We had blitz conditions on those sand eel imitations. Uh, don't forget too, if you're up at the beach, make sure you have a selection of bucktails, maybe even a strip of pork rind to throw on there, because if you're into one of those mad dog bites, the bucktails will work as well. Hopefully this bass and bluefish explosion continues. The monster invasion of big bluefish continues up in North Jersey. Walt Fisher out of Staten Island, who's a North Jersey, uh, is a Jersey fisherman subscriber, he brought in another couple of monsters this week. 21 pounds and 21 and a half pounds weighed those big monster bluefish at Tackle US. Congratulations, Walt, continuing to creep up on that dream boat leaderboard. Um, speaking of blues, 
Uh, Miss Barnegat Light has now turned away from the tuna fishing over to stripers and blues. A lot of the party boats have. Uh, I was trolling out of uh, Barnegat Light over the weekend. Miss Barnegat Light was out all weekend long, wasn't in her berth. That's because she was offshore looking for that tuna. Uh, did a real good trip, but that's the last one of the year as they go to the stripers and bluefish. If you're looking to get on one of these party boat trips going to the edge, the Big Jamaica has got another couple of trips scheduled for the next couple of weeks, weather permitting, of course. Course, and they remind us that the best tuna trip they had in 2014 was November 9th last year they had 90 tuna so if you're looking to get offshore do it in the comfort of a big boat of course a lot of the party boats and charter boats are looking for those biscuits from Cape May all the way up to North Jersey even down into Delaware everybody's loading up on the biscuits like the Cape Queen out of Cape May earlier this week loaded up buckets of black sea bass and also some cocktail blues on the way in uh, Captain Alan Lee on the Mution, heading offshore getting fours, fives, and sixes. We're talking about big humpbacks that some of these guys like Captain Alan are doing offshore. Do not forget the Dreamboat leaderboard. You've got Black Sea Bass open again, folks. New Jersey subscribers, it's open, so get out there. Bring those big knuckleheads back into a participating tackle shop. Get yourself on the Dreamboat leaderboard. The next couple of days, Thursday and Friday, south-southwest winds, never very kind for the inshore conditions and for fishing. Uh, you do have a beautiful weekend, but hey, Thursday, Friday, get away from the southwest head inshore. Try some trout fishing. Tom Pagliaroli is our Central Jersey field editor. He's been loading up on the stock trout, both on the fly and also throwing some salmon eggs. And of course, with the changing colors, get out into the country, enjoy some of that golden brown. Jen Wong here taking a nice chain side, a big pickerel in some beautiful conditions um, out in some of our wilderness country in New Jersey. We are the Garden State, of course. Uh, we do have all the reports in the edition this week, um, reports from North Jersey Central, South, the Beach Talk, um, of course, Freshwater and Delaware Beach, uh, the Delaware Coastline. But next week, you subscribers will not get an edition of the Fisherman Magazine. We're taking one week off. The next weekly edition you get will be the last one of 2015. That's November 19th. So one more print weekly, then we go to monthly. You get December, January, February, and March. We'll pick up again with the weekly editions come March of 2016. But hey, we're going to continue to post everything over at thefisherman.com. And of course, sign up for our weekly news email alerts. They come on Monday and Tuesday with the reports. And of course, your weekly video forecast. Go sign up now so you don't miss anything. It's over there at thefisherman.com. And until next week, I'll see you on the beach. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.